Good morning. Ooh, the sun. Thank you. I'm thankful for the sun, the trees, the plants, shelter, food, pens to write, notebooks to write in, breath, lungs, <laughs> legs, all of that. It's 76 degrees today. I'm thankful for that as well. Um, good morning. <clears throat> so yesterday I gave a pretty deep message in reference to church hurt, which I really did not want to do that message. It's a lot of things that I do now that if it were my choice, I wouldn't do those things. I would get back to living my life the way that I want to. But I don't live my life for myself anymore. And I don't think I really need to go into detail about who I live my life for now. The reason I have to come up here and share this particular message today is because this particular account has a lot of people that started following me based off of my tarot readings and my oracle card readings and the fact that I gave readings. And so I have a lot of people that look at me. So understand this, the gift that I had when I was doing Oracle and Tarot, I still have that gift. I just play for another team now. And it's a more heightened gift now. Um, so the way that I moved with Oracle and Tarot is the same way that I have to move now. And so this morning while I was in the shower, you know, God told me that I had to share more information about my situation because particularly those that follow me here, you have not taken the time out to go look at my YouTube page and to look at my journey as to why I'm even, you know, going so hard for the Christian faith now. When just a few months ago, I was worshiping my ancestors and claiming myself to be a good witch. And on top of that, there are people, so there are people that are on that side, like, how could you be in the Christian faith like that? But then there are other people that are in the Christian faith that are like, well, how could you have made that shift? And so this video is particularly for them, for those of you that think that this is a facade, for those of you that think that I am trying to gain favor in some sort of weird way. Um, I'm gain I, you know, I want to gain favor for my Lord and Savior, but also understand this. I don't have a choice in the matter. I don't have a choice anymore and how this goes on January 21st God gave me a calling to use my gifts in a different way God gave me a directive for the trajectory of my life and instead of listening to that I told him no. On January 22nd, I was admitted into the Richmond Community Hospital Behavioral Health Unit. For reasons I'm not going to get into right now, but if you would like to know what those reasons are, they are all over YouTube. And, and I get into great detail about what happened that night. And there is scripture to go with it so you know that I just am not making this up. But today, God told me that I would be reading some of my letters that I wrote, my journal entries that I wrote while I was in the behavioral health unit. So like I said, on the 22nd, I was admitted into the Behavioral Health Unit, which I often refer to as my retreat. <laughs> and I didn't start writing 
until the 25th. This is my journal that I wrote in. They, they didn't have pens like that. And so I wrote in colored pencil for the first day. And then I was able to get a pen. They also gave me an alias name. Okay. Tanisha Brown, that's not. Okay. So, you know, I was instructed this morning to share some of those journal entries so that people will understand that this isn't a game that last year on my previous YouTube channel where I shared that this was a spiritual warfare I wasn't playing this is an energy thing because whether you want to believe it or not we are not our flesh and blood we are all our spirit and you either play for one team or you play for the other team it just is that simple and so I'm gonna read for you not everything because God has told me, you know, some things I'm not allowed to share. But I'm going to read to you what was going on in my mind for the last three days that I was there. And the journal entries start on Monday, January 25th. And I'm just, like I said, I'm going to skip around. I may stop and drink a little bit of tea because that helps to keep me um, centered and grounded and to make sure that I'm saying things in the right way. Okay. Monday, January 25th, 2021. I'm also a little confused as to what is even going on. What's real? I trust, though, realizing that I don't know who I am. Also, I have, if I have given up myself, then is what they say true? Each day, I gain more control. Upon my admission, I gave it all up. I'm not sure who or when so someone told me to give it all up, my family and my friends. I am also extremely embarrassed by my behavior. What will people think if they are thinking at all? Will they say that I'm crazy? Although I am feeling better and more like myself every day, why do I still feel like I let someone down? These are the meds that I have to take. God is so merciful. I am here healing and also assisting others. God gave me a, God give me a sign, please, and let me know what is happening to me. I just finished meditation and honestly, I could just go to bed now. All of this is hitting me like a ton of bricks. I dropped my former life completely. How do I know that God will catch me? Regardless, I am done living a lie to please others. If they cannot understand, it is not my problem. I do oftentimes wonder what is done of the mess that I have literally made. My apartment is in complete disarray. And then it hit me again that this is not my life. All earthly things and attachments must go. I realize it all, sorry, my eyes, when I cry sometimes my eyes start to burn a little bit. I realize it all, I really, it really needed to happen and it really happened. Everything I created up until now is not my reality. And I don't know what that looks like now but I literally cannot go back. I cannot go back. I have decimated it. Too unsure that I don't even know what it is. Because every single trace of it 
has been obliterated, literally, literally. And how do I even begin to tell this story? To usher in a new life, I heard God clear as day. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to do? For weeks, I ran from this calling until it was a literal storm, a storm that not even I could tame. The only thing that I know is real is this institution and myself. And even still, this is a mind fuck. I trust you, God. Yesterday was hard to process and very rough. I'm sorry, this is January 27th, 2021, Wednesday at 6.51 a.m. I trust you, God. Yesterday was hard to process and rough. Every day is an opportunity to understand that God would not bring me this far to leave me nor forsake me. Less thinking and more doing. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, what is there to fear or worry? It is God's promise. It is in his word that he would not give us more than we could bear. I have made it this far. I will press on and I will keep going, knowing that my steps are always ordered in the Lord. For he is the stronghold in my life and always making a way. For a second, way too long, I forgot who I gave my life to. God, more of thee and less of me. Use me as a vessel, dear God, to save these wretched souls before it's too late, for they know not what they do. For I have already seen the promised land with my own two eyes. I've been baptized and I will rise again, all in God's time, which is divine. I see how other beliefs have hindered me from my growth and out of paralytic fear. My, I can't read that. God, this is a prayer that I wrote. God of graciousness and love, we come before you today grateful for the gifts you gave us and for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. Support us as we honor the legacy entrusted to us and as we continue to be the good help to those in need. Amen. The God I serve is full of merciness and love. He does not ever want us to hurt or suffer. If we are in this state, it is due to us doing too much thinking and we should do more surrendering. And I surrender fully to you, God. I am poised, grace, serenity, love, calm, bold, strength, confident conviction with ease, warm as the summer's eve and a grandmother's hug and love, God's favor from above. The peace in my heart cannot be replaced. I surrender my life fully to the Lord to bask in his good grace. Life with God at the helm and fully in control only requires pure love and a declaration of it must be bold. I do not know the next steps, but I trust the Lord has already ordered them. I am ready to go home now and continue to heal and work on me in all my ways. The Lord will continue to direct my path and I surrender fully to you. And that's it. So understand that I don't do this for favor. And I also know that people talk about me I know that I've lost friends and I know that they say really bad things about me. People that I really love. 
people that I really care about because I understand what's in the balance right now and it's your souls because it happened to me already. It's not easy for me to say and do the things that I do. And oftentimes I wrestle with God about doing them. But I need you to understand that my life is not mine anymore. That I have no choice but to serve the Lord. Because I literally saw Satan myself. I heard him myself. Because of the gifts that I was using. I was using for the wrong team. And so God has shown me many things. Many things many things and I'm always in prayer about them and I'm always writing them and I'm always thinking them over and I'm always asking and bargaining and negotiating and saying please you know and why me being chosen is not something that you're boastful about it's something that requires you to be fully vulnerable and never in a million and one years would I have wanted to tell somebody that I was in a behavioral health unit for six days? But you saw some of my, you heard some of my journal entry from that step, from that time. So understand that I don't have a choice. And it sounds really nice for me to even say, I do this for the favor of Jesus Christ and I do this for God, but I don't have a choice. This is my soul's mission. When I asked to come back, this is what I came back for. So for all of you that follow me because of my spirituality, which I am still a very spiritual being, and you want to know why I made such a drastic change. Understand that while you all were living, God set me down. I didn't make a drastic change. I sat in a mental institution for over a week. Without a phone. Without contact to my family. Or anyone else. It was just me and the Lord. Something that a lot of you could never do and bounce back from without thinking that you were just permanently crazy. I didn't make a drastic change. I was called and then I was forced to sit down because I told God no. And God would not have you ever tell him no. Without there being some sort of consequences. I'm on this path. I cannot go back. I will not go back. And for all of my days, I will continue to do the Lord's work. And I don't care what it looks like to other people. And I don't care what other people have to say about it. And I will continue to lose friends. And people will continue to talk about me behind my back. And they will continue to say things about me that are not exemplary of who I am. But understand this. If you believed my gifts when I was working for Satan then you should most certainly believe my gifts now that I'm working for Jesus Christ. Now that my soul has been redeemed. Now that I have been delivered from the wilderness. None of this, and I don't believe in coincidences, coincidences are God speaking to you, period. So if you feel moved by anything that I've said, please reach out to me. If you want to dedicate your life back to Jesus Christ and use your gifts in the right way, please, please reach out to me. I love you all. Even the ones that talk about me and condemn me and make fun of me and don't want anything to do with me because I'm a Christian. Understand that the Christian faith is not what you believe. Please go look at my church hurt video, the one before this. It's on YouTube. It's not what you think it is. it is. It is love. It is everything I just told you. It is love. It is mercy. It is grace. It is compassion. God is good. 
as in God is all the good things in the world. God is love and light and peace, and they work very hard at not letting you have that. But you can have that. And if you want more information about that, please reach out to me. But understand that I don't do this to put on airs, and I don't do this for the favor of man, and I don't do this for any other reason than my salvation and my deliverance and my redemption and because God saw fit to make me, me. And to keep me here with a sound mind and a sound body, spirit, and soul. And so thank you, Heavenly Holy Father, for saving my soul out of the wilderness, for coming and getting me. Thank you for not leaving me, even when I didn't know who I was. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So if you want details on what happened to me, I shared it on my Valentine's Day testimony and I've been sharing it in videos here and there as God has given me permission to share more about what happened that night. And for those of you that I know, because God has given me the sight of the gift of sight and the gift of prophecy and discernment, I know what you are saying about me and I know who is saying things about me. Just know that I love you. And I wouldn't do this if I didn't want you to be saved too. And that's real. I really do have unconditional love for you. And I'm not trying to scare you or condemn you. I'm just letting you know that where I went, if you don't have the foundation of the Lord in your life, you're not coming back. You're just not. And I don't want that for you. Use your gifts for good and not the fake good, not the false God good, the real good. God is good all the time all the time god is good thank you all i love you i'm about to go do some tutoring for the day um also if you didn't know aside from me working in mental health i also worked in education so children are just a part of my life and a part of my ministry period Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I love you. And if you need any type of help, if you would like to rededicate your life, if you would like to dedicate your life, I can lead you to the right channels. Um, I mean like people channels, not like YouTube channels or anything like that. I can lead you to the right people that, were, that have helped me. I love you all so much. I really do. Peace.